Hi everyone, Charles here. Welcome to Backroads Living. In today's video, we're gonna to go to Walmart. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the things that we've purchased there that uh, I would call it an emergency pantry haul. So hang in there, we'll get right on into it. Sometimes it's frustrating to have to shop at Walmart, but in our circumstances here where we live, uh, it's one of the few places, well, actually it's about the only place that we can buy 50 cent uh, vegetables in a can. Uh, all the other stores are gonna be about 75 cents and a little higher sometimes. Um, every now and then we can find some of the stuff we're looking for at uh, our, save, our local Save-A-Lot. Uh, a lot of times not. There's a lot of things that we used to buy at Save a Lot that uh, they don't have anymore and they don't keep it in stock, so it's kind of hard to find. Uh, in our local IGA, the prices are always, and I mean always higher than they are at our local Walmart. And in most cases, even when it's on sale at IGA, it's higher than it is at Walmart a lot of times. So, you know, every now and then you can find a few things on sale uh, that we can purchase at our IGA and, and get in, uh, you know, if we get five or six of them or something at a time um, and and get a pretty good deal on it. But for the most part, it just is not there. So we do a lot of our purchasing at Walmart. I don't like doing that. Uh, but like I said, uh, we're limited here as to what we can purchase and what the cost of it is. Uh, we do have a, a Dollar Tree that we buy a lot of uh, canned goods and spices and a lot of stuff like that, rice and beans at the Dollar Tree a lot of times. Uh, sometimes they'll have things in that Walmart may not have in or uh, that Walmart may be a little higher on and we, we pick up that stuff when we find it. We also have a local dollar, uh, family dollar. Uh, it's, it's not often that we find many items there that's as inexpensive as Walmart. So, you know, it's just hit and miss with these other stores. Uh, but with Walmart, just about um, all the time, their, their canned vegetables are gonna be 50 cents a can. Uh, and when you can find it, their meats are reasonably priced in a can, uh, their flowers and things like that. So let's get into what we spend here. Uh, in this haul, there's about um, $75 here. Um, and, uh, and it's coming time that we, that we need to stock up. I'm telling you folks, we need to get these pantries stuffed, crammed, packed full. Um, it, it's not going to be easy this winter and it's not going to be easy this coming year. We're going to see some hard times. I really believe that with all my heart. And, and if for some reason we're all wrong in this and many, you know, it's not just me. There's other preppers out there that have YouTube channels. There's many people that follow us here on this channel that have the same uh, outlook. They've seen things happening and things, seen things coming for, uh, for the last year. And they, uh, they're prepping hard in the, in the grain area, especially, uh, and the meats, because these things are going to be affected. So let's look and see what we purchased. Hey, everybody. We got a new load of tasers in. In this load, we got uh, about four or five different colors. Some really nice stuff here. Some new uh, stun weapons, you might want to call them. Uh, we've got this hot pink, really good color there. We've got that camo pink. We also got in this uh, solid red right here. We got in these camos, the standard camo look, self-defense uh, stun weapon. And we also this time got in our lipstick that we was only able to get a couple of the last time. And this time we've got three colors in it, very popular stuff. And as you can see, uh, these do have a flashlight in them. That's very bright. And they also have that stun weapon in them. That's probably not something you want to put on your lips just before you kiss your man. But it is something you'd want to have in your purse or in the console of your car, in the glove box of your car if you're out running around because you never know who you're going to run into. Just follow the link in the uh, uh, picture here below. 
to find them. And the first thing uh, that we're gonna look at is some things that we use in our chilies and our soups and things like that. Uh, they have these large cans of diced tomatoes. Uh, we purchased some of those in uh, at Walmart. They're like 94 cents a can. Now some of this stuff, I'm gonna be able to remember the price on and some of them not, but this entire uh, haul right here is gonna be an average about $75 for what's on the table today that I show you. But there's a couple of cans of these at 94 cents a can. Uh, this will make a nice large uh, pot of uh, vegetable uh, beef stew that we make a lot We in the winter. We make vegetable beef stew and, and that's stuff that, uh, that once you make it, you can take all of your leftovers. Uh, we'll normally eat, eat the, you know, pour some of the leftovers the next day. And then what's left out of that, we put it in a freezer and freeze it. Uh, and then of course, put it back for another day. And it's always good to have things that you can freeze like that and uh, not have to cook every time that you have a meal. Um, these leftovers, buddy, when you, when you make a, a pot of this uh, vegetable beef stew or just vegetable soup like that, it's uh, it's one of those things that you end up with just pennies uh, per meal in it. It doesn't cost a whole lot to eat like that. Uh, the next item we bought, and and this is kind of a hit and miss with Walmart sometimes for us, is the uh, is the yams. We've got one of these, um, and these uh, these were a dollar a can if I recall right, uh, but they uh, they're real good. These are really good yams. Uh, we like to, to fix them with brown sugar and and uh, they're just really good. Uh, one of the things that we've not been able to find at our local Walmart and still haven't found it, uh, don't have any to show you in this haul, is, uh, are the canned carrots. Our local Walmart have been out of canned carrots for I don't know how long, months, and we haven't been able to find them at all. So if you can find carrots and you need carrots in your pantry, I would recommend if you run across them, buy them and put them back because uh, if, it's, if, if your place is like ours, it's gonna be really difficult to come across canned carrots. And let us know uh, in the comments below um, the things that you guys are running into, the, uh, the things that you're finding that's short in your stores uh, or things that might be going up on the prices uh, because we're finding prices are going up on a lot of things. And uh, we're finding out that uh, that a lot of things that were there two or three months ago has disappeared. Uh, you're, we're only finding two or three brands of items uh, on the shelf. There may be just two brands of ketchup or two brands of uh, mustard. Or, and two or three months ago, there might have been four brands. So, you know, they're, they're cutting back on that stuff also. The next thing we found uh, was some uh, Bear Creek country kitchens. Now, I've not tried these yet, but I've heard good reports about them. Uh, Bear Creek Country Kitchen. Uh, I think this is the uh, chicken noodle, and this is the uh, uh, chili chili mix. These are both, uh, these both have a good reputation. That's why we bought them. Like I said, we've not, we've not tried them yet, but uh, I'm, I plan on getting some more of these. Uh, it says this makes uh, eight cups of water. So this will feed me and Sandy for two days easily. Either one of these, we can eat out of these for two days. So that's a good price right there for $2, I think a little over $2 each. So that was real good on that. The next thing we found, and I rarely find these up there anymore, uh, is the beef stew. Now this beef stew right here, uh, the great value beef stew is as good as any of it I bought. Uh, Denny Moore or any of the rest of it, this is just as good as that. Has a real good taste to it. And we love to fix this uh, with stuff like mashed potatoes. We'll, we'll fix mashed potatoes and take a piece of bread, just sandwich bread, uh, smother the bread with mashed potatoes and then pour this over top of our mashed potatoes. And that's a really good meal. It, it fills you up. Uh, a can of this will feed both of us. So again, you're looking at a couple of bucks for, uh, for two people to eat, dollar a meal. That's uh, that's not bad at all. And when you've got this set back in your pantry, you've got some, uh, you know, you've got some carbs and you've got some uh, protein in it also. So these are things that you need to think about right now. You need to be putting stuff back in your pantry that's going to, as the old saying is, it's going to stick to your ribs. It's going to last you for a little while. Eat a meal of this and and uh, 
And you know, it may get down to where we just start eating one meal a day. Uh, uh, you know, and, and stuff like this with some mashed potatoes and bread and, and uh, you know, a, a drink. I drink a lot of water, but uh, one meal a day and then just snacks the rest of the day on things just to tide you over to the next day. Um, I've already hear people talking about that they're uh, learning to fast to do that, learning to cut back to one meal a day. And that's a good thing if you can do that because we don't know how long that we're going to need to survive like this. Now, um, I hear people, a lot of preppers have been telling folks to prep for six months. And, and I, I think in the beginning, when I started talking about this, that that's one of the things I said was three to six months. And then I upped it to six months. Um, and I've been saying a year I hear recently that if you can stock up for a year, you need to, uh, but I think, I think we need to stock up for as much as we can. I, that's just my opinion. I think if, I think if you've got uh, the funds to do it and you can stock up two years, I, I'd stock up two years. I just don't think there's a limit that we need to put on this thing right now with the way uh, the economy is going, with the way the uh, um, all these things have turned out uh, in our uh, uh, political sphere that we're in. Uh, we have no clue what's going to happen next. And uh, depending on who runs this country and who rules this country, and we've got a bunch of people right now that are very evil people, we just have to be careful. Um, and we need to be prepared. We don't know what kind of food situation we're going to be in. Because just like the video I put up yesterday uh, about what an economic collapse looks like, if you've not watched it, I'd recommend you watch it, and it'll help uh, encourage you to continue prepping. And if you've not been prepping, maybe it'll encourage you to start prepping. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen really quick. Uh, and buddy, when, when, that, when that happens, it don't just turn back. It don't just uh, change overnight. It, there's no overnight fix to any of this stuff. It's something that's prolonged and you have to live through it. So uh, the better prepared you are, the better you can live through it, okay? And, and in Venezuela, they even, at one point, they even made it against the law. They passed a law that it was uh, illegal to be a uh, to be hoarding what they called hoarding food. Uh, but now the people wasn't hoarding it; they were prepping food. They were putting food back to get them by for several months. And the Venezuelan government called it hoarding food, and they uh, they passed a law that made it Ill illegal to do that with a jail sentence and a fine if you were caught doing that. So. Who knows what's coming here? That could very well happen here. We don't know. The next thing we found, uh, and, and these are in short supply a lot of times at our local Walmart. There's been several times we've been up there and they wouldn't, they wouldn't be a half a dozen cans of them. But we found, uh, we found these peas. And so we bought a flat of them. We bought 12 of them. We already got some, but we bought this, these 12. Uh, because like I said, you don't know uh, when you're going, when when they're going to have this stuff, and when they're not, we don't know when we may walk in our local grocery or our, our local Walmart, and uh, they may be out of something and not get it back in. Not just for a long time, but not ever. You know, it might be who knows. So, when you when you find stuff that uh, that they've been low on, or things that they've not been carrying on a regular basis. Uh, and you've got any extra money with you, it's time to, uh, it's time to buy it. Uh, and buy it in what bulk you can at that time. I dug these out from under the bottom of the shelf and uh, emptied a flat of something sitting there that we don't eat and put these in it. Uh, so we made up that flat of 12 and, and there was only two or three cans left and I left them there in case somebody else needed them. But uh, at this point, um, we're prepping. And if there's 10 on the shelf and and, uh, and we feel like that we can use them, we're going to buy those 10. I, I'm, I've, I've quit uh, taking half and leaving half at this point because I don't know what tomorrow holds. And uh, I'm going to take care of my family, and I would recommend you do the same. That's why I call this an emergency prep uh, a haul is because I feel like we're in an emergency situation until uh, until we see things different. I think we're going to be under an emergency situation to keep our pantries 
stocked up and stocked full and uh, to, to continue to put food back. This is the other item we found up there that they don't keep real regular in our Walmart are these potatoes. Now these, you can take these potatoes and drain the, uh, the water out of them and you can actually fry these up just like we do those potatoes that we buy at uh, Dollar Tree. We buy the box potatoes at Dollar Tree. They're, they come in those little boxes like milk boxes. I don't know if you've seen them yet or not, but they're, uh, they're just like hash browns. And uh, you run hot water in them and let them set for, I don't know, 12 minutes or something. I don't remember, maybe five minutes. I don't even remember now. But anyway, you, you let them, you let them uh, swell back up is what it is. And then you fry them just like uh, hash browns. And uh, you could take these right here and, uh, and drain the water out of them. And you could fry these, I'm sure, and have fried potatoes. I've not tried it yet, but I heard somebody else talk about that they had done that. And I'm confident you could do that with this. These could be used with many different meals also. Uh, this would be a great item to have in your pantry. And we have some more of them. This is not all we have, but like I said, when, when we started going up there in the last month or so, they've not been having these hardly at all. Uh, when they did have these in, we got we got all but just four or five of them left in the shelf. Um, it's just, it's come to that time. I think that we need to start really uh, concentrating on taking care of our household. Uh, if other people are going to prep, that's good. If they're not, you know, buddy, that's just all them. We just, we can't make people prep. And we've got to get what we've got to get while we can get it. I'm not trying to be stingy. And I'm not trying to encourage you to be a hoarder, but I am trying to encourage you to fill your pantries up. The next item that we found up there was this uh, roast beef. Now, I'm showing you four of these. Uh, the last time I bought these, they had 10 up there, and that's what we bought was 10 of them uh, that, that, uh, for this trip. And uh, the reason is is because out of probably... Uh, probably two months, month and a half, two months. Uh, we've only seen them on the shelf two times. All the rest of the time, uh, the shelves have been empty. They've not had any uh, of the roast beef. So one of two things is happening. They're either having a hard time getting it in, or as soon as it comes in, people are buying it up. Either way, when I find it, I'm gonna buy it. It's just, that's just how it is. Um, and that's, that's what we did with this. Now this has been uh, pretty much this has been pretty much a staple up there. This chunk chicken. Um, it seems like to me that maybe once or twice they were low on it, but otherwise they they've always had at least uh, you know maybe one or two stacks like this. And uh, always when they're when they're uh, packed like this, always run your hands around them and make sure there's no dents or anything like that in them before you buy them. You don't want to buy canned meat like this that's dented that might go bad on you. Uh, but this is a real good buy on these. This great value brand, uh, Chunk Chicken Breast, is really, really good. And we use this a lot with stuff like rice and broccoli. You can fix rice and broccoli with this. Uh, you can season it a little bit. I use stuff like the uh, uh, the onion seasoning and the garlic seasoning and stuff like that in it. And it really, really en enhances uh, uh, the meal and makes it so much better with the rice, you know, broccoli in it. So these are things that, uh, again, more protein, things that's going to stick to your ribs, as, as Granny used to say. Um, and these are meals that you could eat once a day if you had to and get by for the rest, you know, for the rest of the day just like with the roast beef and the, and the beef stew. Another thing we pick up there uh, in this haul is uh, chunk light tuna in water. We buy all of our tuna in water. That's the way we like it. Uh, now this might not do you all day, but uh, it is a good uh, source for, uh, you know, source for protein. Uh, it is wild caught tuna. It's great value. And uh, it, it has a really, it's chunk tuna. And it is really good. This has a good flavor to it, as good as any of it I bought. Any of the name brand that I bought, don't, to me, doesn't taste any better than this does. Really good tuna right here. Another thing that, that I've not been finding hardly any of at all is this item right here. This uh, pulled pork. 
Now this pulled pork's pretty good. It's not the best in the world, but it is pretty good pork. Um, this is the first time I found this up there in months. And again, I don't know if it's like the the, the uh, beef here, like the roast beef, uh, because it's hard to find. This is extremely hard to find. I don't know if it's just selling out as soon as it hits the shelf or if they've just not had uh, the ability to get it. But uh, this is the first time I've seen this pulled pork in months up there. And I like pulled pork from time to time. It's really good on a sandwich. And that's another one of those meals that you could uh, probably make with just a small side dish. And if you were getting back to one meal a day, you could probably get by on a can of this for two people for one meal a day. Make some really good, uh, some good food. You can season a lot of this stuff. Um, you know, Walmart has seasoning for like 98 cents. For a long time, their seasoning was higher than that. Uh, and you, you know, then the Dollar Tree moved in here in Barberville. And uh, right after that, Walmart's seasoning and stuff like that, they started getting their uh, generic seasoning in and, and dropped the price to 98 cents to try to, to, try to beat the Dollar Tree's uh, price, I guess. But that's the way they do. They try to put everybody out of business that they possibly can. Um, the next thing that we buy there is this uh, self-rising flare. It's the great value self-rising flare. And I, I see no difference in it in any other flour that we've used uh, for the purpose that we use it for, mostly biscuits and cornbread. Uh, from time to time, we'll make a homemade cake or something like that, or some, uh, you know, some, uh, or make some muffins or things like that, you know. Uh, that you need flour for. But uh, for the most part, I've not seen any difference in this and, and any of the name brands. We picked up a couple of those this time. Uh, they're they're just a dollar something uh, for a four, uh, what is it, a five pound? Dollar something for a five pound bag of, of flour. So that's, you know, that's a good price on that. Um, and again, we're, uh, we're picking this stuff up when we, every time we go to the store, we buy something. Uh, we don't waste a trip to town. We buy something every time we go. Don't waste a trip to the store. Buy something for your pantry, buy something for your prepping, whether it be uh, your pantry or something that you need outside or inside the house, whether it be medication, whether it be aspirin, whether it be uh, any kind of gels, uh, whether it be any kind of antibiotics for uh, skin problems. Uh, it just doesn't matter. Whatever it is that, that you think that you can use and that you're a little low on, I'd encourage you to pick it up while you're there. Now here's another thing that we uh, have picked up there was these uh, uh, Quick Oats by Great Value. Now we have been buying the name brand for a long time, but now we've started buying the, the Great Value after we tried them because they're really good. Um, and the price is, is, I think it's about a dollar less than the, than the Quaker Oats. And you get the same amount of uh, oats uh, for less money. And these will store just the same as the Quaker. You know, you can put them in a jar and vacuum seal. Uh, you can put them in, in a bag and vacuum seal, uh, mylar bag, whatever how you prefer to, to, you know, to seal them and preserve them. They, they preserve just like the others. And uh, they're just as good. Actually, they taste just as good as the uh, Quaker Oats. And like I said, they're about a dollar cheaper. You know, we've got a couple of them in this haul here for $75. And the last thing, uh, we don't get this every time we go uh, because sometimes they don't have it. <laughs> sometimes we're out at it here. You know, last month when they did that run on everything again, they uh, they bought it all out. But we pick up some, some Scott toilet paper or whatever brand may be available that, uh, that we use and uh, we uh, we try to we try to pick that up, you know, every at least every other or every third trip we make to town for the toilet paper, and we've got a good back stock on it uh, for a pretty good while. But that's something again that uh, that's not a necessity. Uh, people do not have to have toilet paper. It is a it's a convenient uh, luxury. Actually, is what it is. Uh, we went years and years and years as a small child. I didn't know what a roll of toilet paper looked like. 
uh, my toilet paper was uh, Sears and Roebuck and and uh, those kind of <laughs> those kind of magazines and uh, catalogs. So uh, you know, when it was an outdoor, it was an outdoor toilet, uh, and and there was a big bag of lime that sat there in the corner all the time. And you know, we could go back to that if we had to. It's just that simple. Uh, there's all kinds of things and all kinds of ways that people can live if they have to. So keep that in mind. And uh, folks, when you go to the store, buy something. Buy something. The, the time has come that, in my opinion, uh, we certainly are in a situation that I consider it an emergency to purchase something every time you go to the store and put it back in your pantries. So... God bless you all. We pray that the Lord watch over and care for you and keep you. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we would ask that you do that. If you've enjoyed this video, we would ask that you like the video and share it with your friends. And I think that's going to pretty much conclude this one. So until the next time, we'll see you in the next video.